Hey guys, it is currently December 31st, 11 days after the supposed removal of souvenir tokens in the game, and here we are with them still in the game. So if we've learned anything from RMR, well, number one, Valve really likes money, so who knows how much longer these things are going to be in the game, and number two, when these things do get removed, some crazy things might happen to the price. So in today's video, let's talk about exactly what you should be doing with this extended sale in-game and how long I see it lasting. But quickly before we get into it, a quick pre-roll from my sponsor, CS Bro. Hey bro, CS Bro is a new case opening platform with the best 95% RTP. It is also the first community-driven CSGO platform. You decide which cases will appear tomorrow. Also, be sure to enter my promo code PRSUKAHOTFIRE for a 9% deposit bonus on your first 3 deposits. And yeah, click that link in the description to sign up to CSGO today, but for now, let's get right into the video. So first of all, when should we see this update? At this point, I'd have to assume soon. Like, first week of January would make sense to me as number one, the 20th was the date they gave to remove these items, so obviously we're way past that date. And because of this, number two, the only reason I assume these things aren't gone yet, besides Valve liking money, is that they're on a break during Christmas and New Year's, and this might have caused delays with the Dreams and Nightmares case as well which I think is going to be released at the same time as the major items are removed. And if not, I'm probably going to have a mental breakdown because absolutely none of this makes sense if that doesn't happen. Either way, why do I think this exactly is good for players in some sense? Because it is very possible that you could make a decent amount of money from this. Well, first of all, something that I've talked about in the past was how when RMR stickers got removed from the game, we saw them actually take off in price. And I'm not just talking about the sticker capsules, even though they definitely took the spotlight when everything was removed, but some of the actual stickers as well. Like, look at the liquid gold sticker. It jumped from $14 to $20 on May 20th when the RMR items finally got removed after a very extended time in-game, and then stayed there for only about two days before pretty much just dying down and slowly falling off in price as time went on. So you'd think we're gonna have the same thing this time around since we're at a point where no one truly knows when these things are gonna get removed from the game and it's already been an extended period. And I've got to imagine there's still some people that want to snatch them up at that very last moment, which is what causes these price increases after they get removed from the game. This is why I would absolutely recommend to wait until selling these things until they get removed from the game. That is, if you're planning on selling soon, of course, which I pretty much recommend in the vast, vast majority of cases with the stickers and the sticker capsules. We might as well just see if there's a spike. Like, I don't think there's going to be a giant dip when these things get removed from the game. So if you want to get rid of all those stickers you have after you did a huge unboxing or whatever it might be, you might as well just wait to see when these things get removed from the game because based last time around, there could be a huge spike. But at the same time, I do think there is certain expectations to this as certain stickers have been performing completely differently than RMR. Actually, like all of them have, but what I should say is certain stickers have actually been increasing in price. For example, the mouse gold. This thing is still climbing up in price slowly even with the extended sale and many more capsules still coming into supply, price is still growing. I've covered a couple times before how it's in the Challengers capsule, the capsule that now only has about 5% as much of supply on the Steam market as the Legends capsule does, so obviously not nearly as many of these things are being unboxed, and then the Contenders capsule having a bit more than 10% of the supply that the Legends capsule has as well. And because of this, I guess even with the extended sale, supply is still so low in these capsules that demand for certain stickers supersedes it. And by certain stickers, I pretty much only mean the mouse stickers because after looking again, they look like the only sticker with some potential to make money. But either way, if you're sitting on stickers and looking to get rid of them, I would definitely wait to see if we see a spike when these get removed because if they do, that's sick, sell then. If not, I don't think we'll see a dip when these things get released, so nothing really is going to be lost if you're selling either way. So would I buy anything now to try and flip it when a spike comes? Personally, I'm not going to, but I think there is definitely a possibility that we see the sticker capsule spike enough to make a flip of money on. The only real reason to do this though would be for Steam funds, but if we see a spike like last time around, it will be a pretty big one. Like, the Legends capsule is almost doubled in price, so definitely be prepared when we finally see this update drop. 
As for how we'll see the souvenir packages react, we could also see a spike in them, but they're definitely a bit of a different case. I have a much better outlook for them. On the 20th, when these things were supposed to be removed, there was just about 10,000 of them on the market. We're currently up to 14,000, but the number purchased per day has actually gone up. It was only around 6,500 10 days ago, and currently there's been 8,200 purchased in the past 24 hours. So I'm really optimistic about these souvenir packages in the future. It looks like demand is absolutely up there to keep them on my radar as an investment. I honestly thought that this extended sale would kill off their hype quite a bit, but it's not looking like that at all. I'm definitely still going to keep a close eye on them after they get removed from the game, eventually, who knows when that'll be, but I'm still a big fan of holding onto them if you've got them in your inventory. I think they still have some great potential and nothing has really struck me as a warning sign yet. So overall, I think we just gotta wait it out at this point. My final guess is gonna be that these major items are gonna be removed on the first week of January, along with the Dreams and Nightmares case being added. And if that doesn't happen, see you guys in 2023 because who the hell knows when we're gonna see it happen at that point. So yeah, besides all that, I think that is gonna wrap it up for this video. So as always, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and feel free to check out some of my other videos as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.